Hi, I'm Mike Wells, and I run Mike Wells Mastering here in San Francisco, California. It's a full-service audio mastering facility specializing in analog technologies. And in this short video, I'd like to give you a tour of the studio as well as an overview of some of the processes that make my business unique. So with that, let's check it out. Well, a question I still hear a lot today is, you know, what is mastering? Mastering is the last creative step in the recording process. Uh, every artist has a vision, a sonic vision, of what they're trying to achieve with their record. And mastering provides that facility to reach that goal and any goals that weren't necessarily achieved in mixing. And, and a lot of people are sometimes surprised at the amount of increase of punch, of power, of uh, spatial information like width and depth, detail and clarity, and even correctional information that we can take forward in mastering. Mastering can be that final spice, that final ingredient that gets your record from the place you're trying to reach to that place. There's a wealth of tools available here at the studio, and I like having that variety. As an engineer, it allows me to pick the right tools for the job. Uh, some of those tools are typical of what you'd find at other mastering studios, such as gear from Manly and GML. I also have some custom pieces uh, that have been hand-built for me or modified to my specifications, such as my ATR-102 and some of the API gear that I have. Uh, when you combine all of these tools along with my experience and expertise, I feel that it puts me in the best position possible to deliver the artistic vision for the project at hand. When I think about what makes Mike Wells Mastering unique, it really comes down to the process that I use here and the process that I've created to make an experience very different than a lot of experiences people have told me about from other mastering studios. So first, we find a date on the calendar that's going to work for your mastering session. Then we look backwards about a week prior to the mastering session and find an hour that we can get together and this is what I call the groundwork session. The groundwork session is free, it is included complimentary with your booked mastering session, and at that hour we can load up everything, make sure all of your materials are working correctly, and we can also master one song a week in advance. Once we've mastered one song at the groundwork session, now the artist has uh, the mix and they also have the master, and I have the mix and I have the master. So we can talk a couple of days after the groundwork session and we can discuss how close are we to you know, the ultimate master that you would be hoping for. I've seen this process eliminate do-overs, eliminate revisions, save people time, save people money. It's a great process. If you take a look at my reviews on Yelp, you can see how people have really been rewarded by this experience. On the back end, I do a number of other things that are unique. I am a registered ISRC vendor. I provide those codes at no additional charge to my clients. ISRC codes are what uh, you need for your release to get your music into digital distribution channels. If you're paying for ISRC codes from a digital distributor, this would save you that money down the road. I also provide UPCs or barcodes. And lastly, what I consider a, to be a booming aspect of mastering that I, I personally invested in is the metadata initiative. The most popular form of how metadata is used today is up at the Gracenote database. Uh, Gracenote is the metadata vendor that provides iTunes with its uh, service. So for instance, when you put a CD into a computer and iTunes pops up, it accesses the Gracenote database to find contextual information like the track titles, the name of the artist, the name of the record, uh, for each release. And I submit that information along with a couple of other metadata vendors for every release that I master here. When you add up the value of that service, I think you'll find that it goes above and beyond many other mastering facilities out there today. Well, thanks for spending a few minutes to check out this video with me. If you'd like to check out some more info about the mastering service, you can find that under the mastering section of the website. Uh, under the clients section, you can find a full discography if you'd like to see some work that's been done here. For more info around all of the technical aspects of what we've talked about today, you can take a look at the blog section and there's a bunch of articles containing info about ISRC codes, metadata, you name it. So thanks for stopping by.